Two Twizzy in the building, one half of the Blackout TAC. Cop and go DVDs. Holla at your boy. Right now I'm working on my money good. Got big boy style. My single right now is Motion. My other single on iTunes and Amazon right now called My Money Good. I got shirts and all that money good. Website. You already know. London trips. Came back Georgia trips. I'm just doing me, man. You already know what it is. Word. My most, my, um, right now, I be having a lot of t-shirts. My Money Good t-shirts flowing up. Everywhere right now, so that's my marketing scheme for my um my money good single, you know what I'm saying? So I just be pushing that my money good everywhere, you know what I mean? But it's just some fashion though, you know? So at the end of the day I just be trying to make people cop the money good t-shirts. It's doing good though, you know, websites and all that. www.b2ts.net Bricks two tons. That's the format though, man. But check out that money good. I on iTunes and Amazon for 99 cents. But anything else, I'm just grinding, working. Day by day, man. I can say I really started pushing a lot of stuff real quick. Like uh five years. But you know I've been doing me for more than that. I've been doing a lot of shows, tours. Been hollering at a lot of people, you know, blackout one form. It's like a group family thing, but we just be working, man, grinding hard. No stop, no sleep, money never sleeps, so I stop. That's my motto, man. Really, if I do do an album, I'm gonna push like 10 songs, 10, 10 or 11 the tops. But you know, I don't really, I don't really got an album out right now. I had a mixtape, I got a mixtape out right now, Master Your Time. You know, I got like, I think 12 tracks. But I'll just be moving up, man. Just trying to grind more, grind hard. Go to these different showcases, go to these different shows, talk to people. You know, you gotta be in it to win it. That's the motto, man. Go Chanel represent her all day. Brooklyn, my number one home, so I'm always gonna be home, man. So, like, that being said, in, in total, how many songs do you say you have on stock ready to go? Right now, I have probably, like, I got put out an album right now. I have, like, 15 songs, hard body, but people that, you know, that's about to be coming to the industry. That's not already it's in the industry. I work with a lot of people, Corby Guns, Peter Guns, the militia, the TNT, you know, a lot of people. You know, I really just be on the low though. I don't really be telling people what I do. I just, I just gonna see for itself, man. You know, I'm not the talk of this person. I make my actions speak louder than words. All right, let's take your subject off of you for a minute. Dealing with the Open Mic case, the TNT Mic series, what can they do to make things better? Really, I think it's not really they can do better. It's just uh, promote themselves more, go to different showcases, and try to put out more flyers so they so people can come to their showcase. You know, just go out to different showcases like they do. That's how I feel. Like if I ever did a, a showcase, I would go to different showcases so I can see the artists that are performing and tell them that I'm doing an open mic or a, a, a showcase too so they can come and try to be down with me too because it's like the more you grow the more people you get so that's how you gotta look at it everything is just a stomping ground like you, you gotta add people to your organization Oh, the last tour I went on was um, London, man, UK. All day I had mad fun. Like I had like two shows out there. I think more than two, like three. I had like three shows. I did some open mics out there. You know, I was just touring the world, man. It's a new atmosphere. I enjoy it. I want to go back. People want me to go back. You know, I got some people on Instagram, on Facebook that holler at me still. You know, talk to me and be like, when you coming back? I had mad fun, man. Like the shows that I did was cool. People just talk to me. You know, I, I mean, I made some money out there too. I'm not even gonna lie. You know, euro money, pound money, it doesn't matter. It's not American money. 
but you know I still got that though. You know I kept that for my for my collection. You know. Do you remember any of the other artists that you was on the venue with? Ah oh, man, no. Like if I go on my Facebook, I probably could tell the names and stuff. But like on the top of my mind, no. I had one. I think his name was Craig. Craig Floss. He was cool dude, man. Like we was like together every day, like touring different places, getting up in the morning, going to different places, the museum. Like if you see my Instagram pictures, I had some pictures that I stuck on my mixtape, my mi my mixtape um stick up on on the on the train, on the bus, like everywhere that I went, I put a sticker on. But you know, I had fun though. It's a learning experience. Any artist that wanna travel, man, I think that's a good experience for you to go out and tour the world because it's more than something. America is not the only place, man. There's a lot of places out there, man, that you can go and they love your music the same way that you love different people's music. Low white tea, no mats when I rap, I'm the leader, like a quarter in the media. Now, I don't got no manager, I do me. Like, at the end of the day, I feel that I don't really need a manager, man, because I don't think the manager can do what I can do. It's like, they say, like, if somebody stole something from you, like, you're gonna try to get it back, like, I think that I'll put the more effort and work in if I do it myself. That's how I feel, but everybody is different. Everybody need a manager to get on their butt and be like, I need you to do this song, I need you to go here, I need nah. I've been grinding since I was a little kid, man, so I know, like, get up in the morning and I gotta do that. And I gotta do this. It's just my mentality. I don't think I need a manager. But I, if, if, if it comes to it, if, if somebody wanna manage me, it's not gonna, I'm not gonna say that they can't manage me. I could be managed, but I think, me personally, I'm my own manager. Like, I market my own clothes. I market my own music. I did like everything on my own. I never had a manager, you know? People can tell me, you can advise me to do certain things, but me personally listening to somebody that tell me you gotta get up or you gotta do this show, or, nah, I'd rather do my homework personally. I work with a lot of promoters since I started, like, master, master move. I did a lot of things. Like, I can't even, like, name most of the people that I probably work with, like, promotion-wise, open mics. Like, I've been, I did a lot of open mics in my time, man. I, I, to be honest, like, every artist, they can just Google, like, open mics. I did an open mic Monday through Friday, even Saturday, even Sunday. Like, you can do open mics Monday through Sunday, seven days a week. If you just Google and you just put in open mics and you just see, like, what different spots. Like, I was grinding so much, I did, like, seven open mics, like, in a whole week. And I did, like, two open mics, like, every day, like, Monday, Tuesday. Like, Tuesdays is the best day to do open mics because they got more venues. Like, you can do one in Brooklyn, you can do one in, in the city, or you can go to Queens, like, you know, the Bronx. Like, different places, man. Sometimes people get caught up where they just want to do one open mic in Brooklyn because they was born in Brooklyn or they grew up in Brooklyn. Nah, man, you got to go to different places, the Bronx, the Queens, Staten Island, whatever you can go, man, that's how people want to know you. You just can't be stuck in one place. That's why we, as artists, is not adapt because we just want to be stuck in Brooklyn, like stuck on a block. Stuck, nah, man, you ain't going to get nowhere if you get stuck on your block. Just like a hustler. You just stuck here, you can't go nowhere, nobody knows. Yeah, really, I was in one major deal with my group called Blackout. We were supposed to get signed. I'm not going to say the name of the company because it doesn't not really that important right now but we had deals that we turned down many deals like two deals that we turned down i'm not going to say the name because you know we're going to be like oh, oh, oh nah it's not that serious but i did have major deals like i had a personal deal i turned down recently and like four years ago me and my group we had a major deal on the table but we didn't take it so at the end of the day I'm, blackout is my number one home, so you know, even if I make it, they make it, and you know, that's how we go. Like T Paris, Nerve Z, um, Trike Boss, um, Cali Bud. Uh, if I miss people's names, I'm sorry, but Blackout, TAC number one, you know, you know, so you performing tonight? Huh? You performing tonight? Oh, yeah, I perform every night. If I, if you give me a stage, you give me a platform, you give me a radio. Whatever I gotta do, that's me, bricks and sons, and they rock
Houston and reppin' in the old things. Everywhere I go, I rep any rock. Nobody can never say before I stepped on that stage that I never said any rock. Houston and reppin' in the old things. It's in love. Oh shit! 